Hey, good morning. Welcome back. 1 Samuel 17, verses 38 and 39 today. Just a short one, but good lesson here. Let's read it. So Saul clothed David with his armor, and he put a bronze helmet on his head. He also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with these, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. So just those two verses today, but something important. Remember, what did we learn about Saul some chapters ago? This guy was taller from the shoulders up than anyone else in Israel. Do you think his armor fits David? David, who's not even uh, as tall as some of the regular guys. David is, is a smaller person. So the biggest person in, in Israel, his, his armor on the small, this must have looked comical. And David, you know, goes along with it. But once he gets it on, he sees there's no way he can maneuver in this. There's no way he can fight in Saul's armor. And isn't it true that each one of us, spiritually, each one of us has to fight in our own armor? Each one of us has a unique experience. Each one of us is at a certain place at our maturity level. Each one of us has a different set of things that have happened in our walk with the Lord. And so we all kind of have to be in our own armor. Many times if you try to go and, and do something someone else's way, you'll find out that maybe it worked wonderfully for them, but somehow it just isn't clicking for you. God has a personal relationship he wants to have with each one of us. And so we want to carry our own armor. We want to let God clothe us with his defensive protection in the way that fits our personal experience. We need to fight in our own spiritual armor. We should be very careful about imposing on other people all of our experiences and our plans and our certainties about this is the way you do this. This is the way you give a Bible study. This is the way you preach. This is the way you talk to somebody about this. This is the way you talk to somebody about that. This is how you pass out a tract. This is how you, you know, and there's a lot of good things we can learn from other people, but let's not be dogmatic about it. Let's let God work through each person in their own experience. And I know the Lord will bless. And so, don't have to learn a big a big thing. It's There's a lot of useful things. There's an endless useful things we can learn for witnessing and testifying about our experience. But the most important thing is to have that personal walk. And God will show us how he wants us to do his work. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, we want to do your work and do it in the way that's exactly right for us. So be our leader. Again, Lord, we've been praying uh, in terms of leadership, praying in terms of activity. Uh, we want to be actively engaged in your battles. And so be the one who leads us, Lord. Some of the armor that's out there might be powerful armor for somebody else, but it might not be just right for us. Help us to, to fight your battles, Lord, in your way. And you often have a very unique way plan for each one of us. Help us, Lord, now to be on your side useful to you, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, David has tried on the, the biggest, the best, the best armor in the land. Saul's armor isn't going to work for him. Off it goes, and then we're going to see tomorrow what happens next. Hey, in the meantime, God be with you on this special day. Every day is a special day when we are in his service.